my friend, Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how to sell your stuff on Facebook I mean that's pretty wide but how do you get Facebook ads that actually sell your stuff I mean you could create an ad and just offer something right and then you know yeah sure that kind of works if you have you know um, a really really amazing thing but typically people don't care about buying stuff from you or they're not trusting you until they know like and trust you right so how do you create a series of ads that will actually do that that'll build your no like trust factor for your audience and then get them to buy your stuff so we're going to talk about how you can do that how you can create Facebook ads that'll actually get people to buy your stuff in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so say you have a course that you're trying to sell you could do an ad to your course and get some sales that way right that's definitely possible if your course is really amazing and you're picked the right target market and all these and you know your ad is fantastic all those things could work but they're not going to work as well if the people don't already know like and trust you right so how do you get there right uh, sure you could build your audience for years and grow your fan base and all these different things but there is a way to circumvent that if you will and get people to buy your stuff now right so we're going to talk about that before we get into that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this on iTunes or any of these uh, popular uh, podcasting then you're going to want to go check out the video you can go to cis375.jsgagnon com to go check out the video and the blog post because I, I will be sharing my screen and there's lots of uh, cool stuff that um, I can't really explain so I'll have to show you all right so with that being said let me just share my screen and just kind of show you what I'm talking about so where's my screen there it is okay so uh, you're on Facebook and you're trying to sell your stuff you see these ads people are making ads there's ads all the time I mean if I scroll down I'm going to see a bunch of ads right there's ads on the side here there's all these different things why am I seeing these at these ads right this butcher box thing well because I went to their website and I liked their stuff and I I just there now I'm seeing their ads and that's kind of how <clears throat> that's kind of how it works right so all these and this is what they call retargeting so we're going to talk about the content you need and we're going to talk about creating ads and retargeting I actually have I actually have uh a whole bunch of notes here let me just load it up here I get a whole bunch of notes here and I'm going to go through kind of this I can't obviously do all that right now that won't be enough I won't be able to go through I mean I can kind of give you an overview and explain to you the process and that's kind of what we're going to do we're going to talk about the process right number one number two number three kind of thing but we're not going to do it all because we don't have time and the reason I'm doing this is because I need to create ads for something that I just created which is a chrome extension piece of software courses things like that that I've got and I want to create this a sequence of um the process right the process is here's the process so the first thing you got to do so let's just say let's just uh, actually you know what I'm gonna put this on here for you you can actually take a screenshot go uh, go through it or whatever let me make it even bigger so it's nice and easy to see if you're on mobile uh font let's see that I can make that bigger okay so we're talking about how to create videos for Facebook ads to sell your stuff and you know basically you need to do preparation right so you're going to be you should be selling a single thing so I'm just going to put in here my answer right so uh, what is it that I'm selling right the one thing and, th and this is a the thing there's a, a product you're selling we're going to get into that in a second so but for me I'm selling a single thing so it's going to be my uh, Facebook <coughs> active group users Chrome extension all right so that's that's the thing I'm selling the product I'm selling right so so answer these questions it's the same thing it's the Facebook Facebook Chrome extension right now 
that's the uh, like I just said what's it solving right what is it solving it's for for my target market it's solving a whole bunch of things right so uh finding the right people people to in to engage with um saving time um to to find them without uh, browsing yourself right so uh, what's it solving also um in, let's see uh, growing your engagement on your posts right on your posts so what else what is it solving it's solving the problem that people have on Facebook that um they so uh so so when they're not getting any 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 engagement on their post right so um uh, get well that's the growing your engagement I guess I'm trying to think the feeling the feeling that no one no one cares about your posts right so if you're feeling like oh my god this is crazy I'm posting every day and nobody's liking my stuff nobody's commenting on it nobody cares nobody likes me right so feeling that nobody cares or about your post or likes you right so do you feel like that sometimes right well that's the thing so this is what anyways it does I'm not trying to sell you that I'm just kind of going through the process myself as to what it is that I'm trying to solve right so I'm trying to solve that right uh what else um the 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 problem with spending too much too much time time on Facebook right if you're if you're trying to grow your audience you might be spending a lot of time on Facebook doing all sorts of different things so you're probably spending too much time on Facebook um so there's probably other things I could come up with it probably the best thing for you if you're trying to figure this trying to do ads on Facebook you got to go and figure out the problems you're solving with your your product right with your thing what are the problems you're solving so and then what we want to do is a who is it for so for me it's for affiliate marketers it's for uh course creators and the thing is this is this is the secret or one of the secrets anyways is it isn't it doesn't matter you uh who you who your thing can be for it can be for all these different people right so for me it's affiliate marketers course creators um online sales um people right um it can be for realtors it can be for whoops real re, realtors right because realtors are trying to get people to see their houses or contact them or whatever so for me my extension is for whoever is on Facebook trying to sell something right but when you're crafting your offer and your ad and everything you got to choose one target market or one avatar if you will right so so define your avatar your single single avatar for your ad campaign right so the idea is that when you're when we're talking about the rest when we get into the rest of this stuff the people that you're going to be targeting have to be just one person because if you try to target all these people I mean you can go back and redo this uh, this whole exercise for each of the different target markets that you want to target and you but you need to do the thing for one target market otherwise you're not gonna it's not gonna work right that there's a lot there's reasons for that I'm not gonna get into that but you need to have a single target market so for me I'm actually gonna go and go after probably I'm thinking course creators but I'm not sure anyways I'll I'll, I'll decide later but for now um for now this is the the actions you need to do after you've got your uh what's your solving what's your product what's your one thing oh that's the other thing you need to have uh you need to have number four we need to say clearly uh define your one thing so what does that mean right clearly define your one thing what is your one thing in all your advertisements and all your content that you're going to try to focus on here it there has to be one thing that you're solving right and this is the thing so these are these are different things that that my my product solves right so what 
one thing and not all those there has to be one thing that I focus on right so maybe what I want to do is uh, maybe um I want to solve this one or maybe I want to solve this one for them so you got to have one thing you're solving it's not your product your product is not the one thing it's what are you solving for your target market right so you've got to be solving one thing and I got to decide which one it is let's just say that I'm going to go with um so how to um uh, oh and this is the other thing so the define the one thing is how to x without x right how to x without x right so that would be uh, one way of defining your one thing it can be there, you can do it different ways but that's a good start so I could say for example how to grow your Facebook Facebook let's put it that way Facebook engagement but how to grow your Facebook engagement uh with the right people how to grow your Facebook engagement oh actually you know what how to attract attract the right people by growing your Facebook engagement by growing your Facebook engagement um without spending all your time without spending all your time browsing browsing oh well, actually I'll put that on the second one so without spending okay let's put that on the second one without spending all your time browsing the wrong places so yeah so there you go so that would be my my one thing so my one thing would be this right so how to attract the right people by growing your Facebook engagement without spending all your time browsing the wrong places so uh okay so <clears throat> let's just say that you define your one thing now once you have all that defined this is where the fun starts so you'll need to create five to ten short one to two minute videos even well actually it can be even less than that I, I'd say probably let's say uh 15 to 60 second videos actually that would be even better for this these ones and I'm I'm saying seven is a good number because it's uh, you'll understand prob in a minute what that is but it's basically about um getting people to see you in their feed right so these are short little videos the reason why they're short is because people don't have time to watch a 5 10 minute 15 30 minute video like this video here typically they'll go and watch those longer videos once they know like and trust you but how do you get them to know like and trust you right how do you get them to to that point where they know like trust you so the way you do that is they they need to be seeing you all the time on your on their feed they need to be liking your stuff commenting on your stuff you know watching your stories all those things but to do to do that organically takes a while right I've been doing it for over five years now six years almost and that's the thing so it's it's a lot of work to get to that point now you're watching this video because you probably have watched other videos of mine and you know um you know who I'm what I'm about and you're interested in possibly what I'm talking about here obviously right but if you never heard of me you probably wouldn't even watch this video right or or read this blog post but anyways okay so you'll need those videos they all need to solve a problem your target audience has so really ideally they should obviously be all around this how does your thing help them to attract the right people by growing Facebook engagement without spending all the time browsing the wrong places so maybe you talk about what are the what are the wrong places you know uh what do you mean by the right people and all these things you you kind of define them in little videos and I, I'm actually not going to do that in this uh training here but I do need to do uh those videos myself to build this audience growth so the way it works is they're not you also they should not be trying to sell anything in those short little videos you're not selling anything and if you can make them 10 seconds even better because you can put them in stories and you can do ads on TikTok 
well actually TikTok lets you do ads up to three minutes now but still um if they're shorter you get more views more people seeing them <laughs> and all that right but <laughs> okay so you run ads to those videos to target the audience who have the problem you solve so whenever you're uh <laughs> whenever you're doing your Facebook ads in your Facebook targeting you you choose who those videos go to based on your target audience right it's this is basically you know I don't know people who are into affiliate marketing who know Tony Robbins and who who are interested in network marketing or people if it's realtors then you know realtors who know Rob Robert Kiyosaki or you know things like that and I can kind of I, I might be able to well I will be doing other episodes to kind of go through these things and if you're watching this and the other ones are done there'll probably be links in the blog post so you can go see those other things but I'm but that's kind of what you need to do all right then you have to create a custom audience of those who watch those videos and that custom audience doesn't need to be done um after the ad you can actually do the custom audience before the ad once you post the videos you can create the custom audience that is basically people who watch those videos so that audience is just the list of people who watch those videos who watch three seconds of them or 10 sec or 15 I think it is or you know a certain percentage of it there's different layers you can do multiple audiences if you want uh, but really all you care about is people who saw at least three seconds I think the minimum is of those videos so you can do though that audience and target those videos as soon as the videos are uploaded you don't need to do ads or anything and that allows you to start to even ca capture organic right because you might want to share that so right so remind remember that video or uh, need to be um actually let's do that let me solve the problem no, 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 no. okay so before we do the ads let's do that the other way let's do this let's move that to here because we really want to do that first and the other thing is you want to do upload those videos to your page so it has to be a page you can't have you can't have those videos in your personal profile and then run ads to them and create audiences you can't do that it has to be a page that's why you have to have a page uh and uh and then after you've got your your videos uploaded then you create a custom audience to those who watch those those videos you do that afterwards right then you can run ads to uh to target audiences now when I'm saying we're talking when we're talking about creating an audience you actually don't need to to create the audience to target because you're not targeting those people you're targeting other people because you want to grow that audience from those other people that's the part that's got to be um well, what you do there is you create ads to show the video to get more video views because that's what you want to get you want to get as many video views on those videos to get people to you know start to see you in their feed and so that's kind of how you do it okay so you run that for you know like a week maybe a dollar each it doesn't really matter you can you can you can spend uh one to two dollars per day on each video for a week let's just say you do that for a week a week or more right it's up to you you can spend it for for as long as you want but do it at least for a week for at least let's say at least a week for at least a week a week for at least a week whoops for at least I'm not going to worry about the homework because it's obvious for at least a week um so that means so for seven videos that's you know seven to fourteen a day so so let's let's just say I'm just gonna put that on a separate line here for for seven videos so budget so budget okay let's do the math here let's get my calculator out um it's a big calculator resize it put it over here okay so so if we say we have seven videos times let's say seven dollars times seven is no that's not right so seven videos times seven dollars okay that's that's it's no what am I what am I saying seven videos okay so it's seven dollars a week 
per video and you got seven videos so yeah 49 dollars. so 50 so I guess it'd be 50 so 50 to 100 right that's how much you're going to spend at a minimum right so 50 to 100 budget so you have to have at least that budget and I'd say if you can spend a little more that'd be better obviously but you don't want to over you don't want to put too much in this because this is really just the beginning you can scale that after for the ones that uh look, work better and all that but that's basically the the, the premise or so the beginning right <clears throat> okay so next you want to prepare the offer so the preparation of the offer is because you, once you have the offer once you have all those videos you can do that afterwards you can do the, your your videos and you can start them while that's happening when once that's ready then you can do your offer preparation your funnel those things so you'll need a funnel to offer your product obviously you want to be able to offer your product ideally you want to have a free giveaway you want to be offering them something for free like maybe for example let's say you have in these seven videos you have your uh, you're talking about your one thing that it's going to solve them like I said you're, you're talking about you know uh how do you attract what are the right who are the right people why uh do you want to grow your engagement and what you know what's the wrong places to browse all those different things that you're solving maybe you want to have a freebie that includes all those right maybe all the videos can be on some course hosting site or you want to have a pdf that goes through those things um, and offer that as a free thing so whenever when your offer will be that it doesn't it doesn't it could be directly your product whatever you're selling right but it's a lot better if you have a freebie because you get them on your list and on top of them seeing your videos because they're in your target market now they're in your listing and start to market them that way right so that's the other thing uh the other thing is you're going to have a product page where the full price can be seen so you can actually say by the way you can get this product at this place for you know 500 bucks or whatever the price is um so that when you say that you're giving them a better deal your one-time offer right you can have a one-time offer with a lifetime with a limited time better deal so you can say you can get this at this website for 500 you can go right now to go get it or right now right now for for the next 24 hours for the next you know two days or whatever I'm not sure when I'm going to take this down but right now you can have it for this price and on top of that I'm going to include these things right so you got you know whatever all this offer stuff is amazing that you have to make it amazing an amazing offer and then uh, so that's it so now this is how you do the final offer so you create a video to sell your stuff so now this is another video that you are going to add to your list of videos on your page right so you create a video this could be uh this could be probably I would say one to two minutes you know it's if it's longer than that it's you know it's going to be hard for people to you could have multiple different ones if you wanted but basically what you do is you create ads to the custom audience to show all the okay so here's the other thing okay sorry now when you're ready with your actually uh, your actual offer now you do new ads to the custom audience to solve the original the original seven videos you created in the beginning here you do new ads to the custom audience now the custom audience is the people that's seen a part of any of the other videos right so the custom audience is the people who watched some of the other some of these other videos it doesn't matter which one they become part of this custom audience <coughs> and then what you do is uh then you create new ads again so now you're going to be talking about so budget budget another 50 to 100 dollars for new ads to custom audience right so you want to do that and then you're going to create an ad to promote the offer video so this to custom audience right so now you create an ad to this this new video another ad so this ad here so budget for offer video ad um, <clears throat> you know probably probably 100 to 200 dollars so now okay so now you're spending let's say you let's say we spend a hundred dollars for these videos right a uh, hundred dollar in a week so 
per week budget per week so now obviously if you're if you're do it just for one week chances are it won't really work that great so you really, it's probably longer than that so you've got to be thinking let's just you know add the numbers here for for new ads uh per for, so 50 to 100 per week for new ad offer per week okay so let's just say we're talking about 100 here uh 200 and then so 400 per week so you got to figure out the you know the, the the value of those ads how much and you know that'll take a while probably it'll take at least a week or two if not a month to see whether your whether that budget is working out um so you have to have something you're selling that's gonna you know be worth those ads right <clears throat> so I I can't answer that that obviously has to be um you that decides whether it's worth doing but let's uh we're at 25 minutes I'm actually going to go and create one of these videos to kind of show you what I'm talking about when I talk about these videos that are going to be for your um custom audience I'm going to create the video within this I'm going to cut it out later and I'm going to um, yeah so I'm going to be able to start this process or should I yeah let's do that I'm going to do that at least so you can at least see one of these videos how that works and it really is whatever you want to do right so I can go and I can say you're scrolling Facebook <clears throat> okay so so that there let's just do this I actually don't need my do I need my webcam here let's uh turn my webcam off where is it webcam right there okay so now what my webcam is off and I'm gonna do this uh, video here I'm actually gonna put a timing here I'm gonna write this down where I'm at I'm at the 26 minute 26 minute okay actually 27 minute 27 minute so at the 27 minute mark I'm gonna be starting this ad and I'm just gonna talk about you know let's talk about it did you know that Facebook algorithm is reciprocal that means that whatever you do on Facebook is going to affect what your stuff does so if you want your stuff to show up in the feeds of other people that's why you need to be liking and commenting on other people's stuff and I'm going to stop that right now this is actually not right I'm actually I uh, just re realized that you need to have like if if I'm just doing an ad like this let me turn my webcam back on if I just do an ad like that nobody's gonna know that it's me other than maybe the little picture that shows where my where the that it's me right so you really I really need to have my video in the ad right and let's just make this video even bigger like this and let's move this over to here actually that's not no, that's not gonna work I'm just trying to see if I can't figure out how to make my video actually I can probably move it out to here hmm I could probably anyways like I said if I'm doing this ad I want to do something that's going to be I can actually let's you know what I'm going to leave this here put it back the way it's supposed to be uh where is that is that right that's not right okay so I'm I'm just going to uh in this OBS software what that is what I'm using right here right you can see this I'm gonna actually do a I'm gonna make this duplicate this I'm gonna call it screen and webcam for ads okay so now what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna make this so my screen and webcam for ads I'm gonna make this guy bigger and I'm actually gonna move it to the side and what I can do here inside of this uh actually I need to create a new so display uh, da, 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 media source image where is it video there's a video video capture device okay this is the one so webcam center I'm just going to call it like that okay so what I need is it's still this same thing no it's not that it's this is the one here okay and I want to remove this webcam here 
because I don't want that one I want this one oops what's going on where is it where did it go properties where did it go where's it where is it I don't know where it is <laughs> it's not showing up um sorry I'm trying to do uh, what I want to do is I want to have half the screen be my face and then the rest be the Facebook side that's what I'm trying to do here um so anyways before I get into this more let me just um webcam center let's can I move it down I don't understand why it's not uh okay let's remove it uh, yes okay now I'm going to add a video why can't I okay webcam what I'm trying to do is like I said uh is make this a only part of the screen oh there you go okay ah there we go perfect okay so now what I want to do here is I want to make it I guess the reason it wasn't working is because I had it set up over there so I'm going to just do this and then I have to go in here and properties that's not what I want it's under it's actually under filters so what I want to do is I want to add a crop or a video no it's not here and crop there we go okay so I want the left to be let's say 500 300 300 okay so that's going to work if I do that I can move myself right there there we go so now my now if I move that back over here now you have you have my my face on the side there right so that's so that's going to allow me to do a video with this uh here with the screen of the you know I can see the Facebook right there right I just don't see the ads on the side and then I can actually do a video showing the engagement so let's just go to my page my profile okay so now I have my profile right here and I can start like this let's just start like that where's my we're at 32 we're at 33 minutes okay so 33 minutes I actually have an ad I'm going to do so I'm going to do that right now uh how do I want to start like this uh affiliate uh, let's do it for affiliate marketers hey affiliate marketer Jean-Serge Gagnon here do you sometimes wonder how are you going to get engagement on your Facebook you're posting stuff on Facebook and there's nobody that sees anything did you know Facebook is a reciprocal algorithm basically what that means is that whatever you do the way that you get people to see your stuff is by you taking actions against their stuff and that's how you get more engagement like I have here 96 comments how did I get 96 comments right I got some of these there's none so 16 comments here so it's not thousands of comments but how do you get to have more engagement on your posts that's because you're taking action against other stuff so Facebook is reciprocal okay so that's it that's all I did I just do this little video like this I don't know how it'll be but it's it'll be from 33 minutes to whatever so and then I do other videos to explain details I can show for example you know um I can show for example where is there's that okay I can show uh, for example where to find you know let's do another one let's do another one 33 minutes is reciprocity reciprocity no and then we're at what 34 34 point 34 25 okay so now we're going to talk about groups so hey affiliate oh since start over hey affiliate marketer do you know how to get the right people to your offers 
so the first thing you got to do is on Facebook you go find the groups right you go search for groups you go say affiliate marketing you go and find the groups actually uh, go all the groups here search for affiliate marketing right affiliate marketing then it's going to show you the list of groups you can click on groups here and you see the groups that are there but and then you go to the group right you go to the group and you go scroll through and you look at the posts and what you're looking for is the people that are commenting on the post you see there's five comments here there's six comments here you look at these people and then you go check their profile and then you engage on their stuff well this person has nothing but that's basically the secret you go and engage on people that are engaging so you go to these people's posts and you engage on their stuff because what's happening is Facebook is going to start to show your stuff to the people you're engaging on that's the secret okay so that's um where to the where where what what in groups right <laughs> so I don't know I might trim some of that stuff but that's two of the videos right two of the videos to kind of show people how to solve that engagement problem that they have right and also I start with hey affiliate marketer are you looking to do this my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon are you doing what whatever right so I include my my name in the introduction there right so there we go so that's okay so now that you have the videos let me show you what I mean by custom audiences okay let's go into my Facebook again here actually I have it right here let's go to my Facebook audiences so on Facebook your audiences is where you create um let's just not worry about that your audiences is where you create um your custom audiences but also regular audiences that are based on certain rules so say for example I want to create an audience I'm going to create an audience um I'm just going to create a saved audience I'm going to call this um affiliate marketers basic base let's just do that it doesn't really matter uh, then I'm going to go and say uh, custom audiences exclude people who live in this location let me make um, yeah okay I'm going to put Canada in there and I want to include United States you why is that okay there you go United States okay then I want to include uh, uh United Kingdom so there's the top five right so you want to create uh where they live they're not United Nations that's not what I want United Nations I want United United States United States Okay, then I want to include United Kingdom. Okay, then I want to include Australia country and I want to include New Zealand. So these are the top five they call them, right? So United Kingdom, United States, Canada, and those are all the English speaking. And I'm going to put in here age I'm going to say let's say somebody who's 30 to uh 60 okay so just uh then languages I want to say English uh, and so now I want to add connection I want to say this is people who currently like or follow your page no people who use no that's not what I want oh it's demographics right here interests okay so let's say Tony Robbins I want people who are interested in not Tony Robinson what's this Tony Robbins well, I think maybe there's two B's is it oh Tony Robbins Tony Robbins there you go Tony Robbins okay Tony Robbins and okay so now here's the here's the the thing I did wrong in the beginning I actually created I actually created I added other things here right and what you want to do is you want to go down here and you want to say also narrow audience you don't want to just add more because what will happen say I say Tony Robbins and um 
I don't know Eric Worre or whatever other things that you know Clickbank maybe and I say other things it's going to be one or the other so you'll end up it's not going to be focused on specific people so anyways I'm going to do this let's narrow audience I'm going to say and must also match click uh click uh what's it well you know, Clickbank Clickbank is it going to load up maybe there isn't any Clickbank suggestions oh my okay let's do entrepreneurship um and then let's go back to narrow further let's do personal development narrow further we're also going to do um social media Facebook page admins definitely I want Facebook page admin that's one of the secrets if if they don't have a Facebook page chances are they're not that serious on Facebook right who else do I want the business page admin health and beauty there's other things small business owners a whole bunch of things that they offer you right but I can say in here I can add for example um Robert Kiyosaki right let's say Robert Kiyosaki interest okay so let's just say that this is what I got and it's basically telling me that there's a reach of about a million people which is you know a lot but still pretty good compared to the fact there's eight billion well there's probably like two billion on Facebook right so I'm going to say create saved audience so now I have affiliate marketer base it's got about a million people in there now what I can do is I can target ads to that audience and post those videos and upload so that's the thing then when you're ready to when you've got your videos on there you can actually create these audiences I'm doing this for example here uh, let's see saved on custom audience I'm going to show you one of these S this here okay actually so let's just create one let's show you how to create it so create you would say custom audience right here and then what you do is you say your source what is your source it's a website app activity on these different things Facebook sources video right I want a video I want video so I'm just going to say next then what it's going to do is going to say choose a content type people viewed at least three seconds 10 seconds who completed or viewed at least 15 seconds 25 50 right so you can do all these different numbers what you want is just the three seconds right so people viewed at least three seconds retention 365 days the most that you can I don't is that the most well maximum whoops you just mouse over yeah 365 so audience name this is um active group user video viewers right so you give it a name description you can put a description people who so three second three second video viewers of active group right so whoops active group users okay so uh 15 18, no, no. let's do that and then what else is there all right so then you got to choose the videos you got to click on this and it'll load up your pages and your videos so I'm actually going to put this video in here actually I'm going go to my main page this is one thing I'm not really sure about if I if I share the same video to multiple pages I'm not sure if you know that's uh I'm just going to put these videos in here new prospects daily these are all videos that kind of have to do with this stuff simple giveaway okay so the the last few videos I did the last few episodes are kind of about this so I'm going to put these videos in here but normally you would have uploaded all those videos those little short videos and you would put those in there as you can see I only have 26 viewers on these but still so I confirm that I'm going to create the audience and now now I have this audience here so your custom audience was created next step you can do create an ad and all that stuff right so I'm just going to click on that so now I have my two different videos so now I can create ads to post to post to this video so let's go create an ad to this marketer base just to kind of show you how it works create an audience no I'm not an audience I go in here you go in ads manager so let's create an ad to that audience right so everything's off I haven't done ads for a while but I've I've done lots of ads so I'm going to just do a create right here and I'm going to call I want video views and name your name your target I'm going to call it so I'm going to call it CIS 374 
video views let's just say views okay uh I don't need to have a ad ad oh I guess that oh they changed how this works okay well cool oh that's very cool that's going to do that I, I actually like giving everything the same name so that's easy when I look for them so I'm going to just click on continue okay so in the ad set basically you just say uh there's no category declare what is that employment housing well, that's new credit card offers oh, okay hmm. all right so anyways that's not nothing like that so I'm going to say daily budget of just two dollars for two dollars okay daily budget of two dollars so that's just the ad set um buying type but there's lots of stuff that's changed here from last time I did ad but anyways I kind of want to show you how that works so now I click on next and I'm going to say dynamic creative budget schedule start without an end I'm just going to run this continuously uh and I'm going to choose an audience here I'm going to use a saved audience it's going to be um affiliate affiliate Oh, there it is affiliate marketers base the one I just created now all right that's good and automatic placement I don't want automatic placement I want to just have it on Facebook I don't care about any of this other stuff just Facebook right I don't want it for news feed marketplace I don't want it in the marketplace video feeds yeah sure why not Facebook stories sure in stream videos what is that oh okay that's like these little okay I don't think that belongs there mm. the reason why I don't want necessarily to go on all these different other weird places is because my audience is people that are just scrolling the feed right that's what I want to attract and that's just my use case right um okay so next is the last part is the actual ad what is it that you want to have in your ad right so uh you go in here da, 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 Facebook page yes that's the right page and then I want to uh da, 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 what it is. again like I said this change the video is required add I don't want to add a video I want to use an existing where is that at um, da, 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 da. I keep forgetting where they do that it's under already oh, right, right here okay use existing post so I want to use an existing post and I'm going to select the post and it's going to go to that one page right it's going to be my my videos where is that course income 373 that's not it here where's the course income 374 Set it here. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's what it is. So this is the one here. It's either this one or this one. It must be this one. Uh, three seventy four. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, or what if I click on this one? I'm not sure what the difference is between these so I have to look I guess I'd have to look on the page the other thing is you can actually put a video ID in it if you want if I was to go say to my page I can actually go find the actual post and take that number and put it in the ad right so if I go scroll through here go find that video actually this is it here <coughs> So this <clears throat> this is it here let me see if I look at this video right here this one here let's just go to it I'm not gonna turn that off I don't want it to play let's pause it um in here is there a copy yeah well the video ID is right here so 38 so I don't know if that's because that's changed let's go back to here and let's see so change post enter post id let's see if that's it submit 
yeah that's the one perfect okay so it does do that all right so now <coughs> video captions yeah there's video captions and uh, select the placement tracking and there we go so now we have this all set up and I click on the publish button actually you can't see let me just go back to my other webcam and get that out of there all right I gotta go to this other one and I gotta edit this properties I want to make sure deactivate I'm not showing okay I go back to here webcam properties where is spectator Hmm. I wonder why my webcam is not it's not letting me see the webcam huh, from the other one anyways I'll move this out of the way here so you can kind of see you see the button right here I click on the publish button down there and then that submits the ad let me move move this back so you can see it submits the ad it says multiple items published and basically now so now what happens is basically now <clears throat> my ad is uh, submitted it's not necessarily approved right away we'll we'll see whether they approve it or not but that's basically the idea you do an ad that's how you do an ad and then I can just say close there we go so now it's in draft and they've got it uh processing so that somebody's going to review it and all that right so that's kind of how you do it hopefully you enjoyed this and I'm going to do uh those other videos and maybe I'm going to I'm not sure what I'm going to do next but uh it looks like oh I that might I might need to put my uh billing expiring okay you gotta fix that but yeah so that's how you do Facebook engagement ads to grow your audience you got to do your custom audience you got to do your like I said right here right you got to have all this you got to do all that to get the people to see your stuff so that you can grow and get sales on your stuff all right until next time we'll see you in the next video this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.